the last thing I'm going to look at really quickly is just to how to get out your risk estimates and your odds ratios. Um, so in where you've done your chi-squared test, you might have seen this box already. So in cross tabs, we'll stick with our race of mother white and non-white. Now actually you can only get the odds ratios out, I believe, if you only have two categories in each of these. I think if we had done this with the original one, it would not have calculated odds ratios for us. So into the statistics, if you want the odds ratios, that's not written anywhere, you need to go to risk and tick that. Okay, okay. And now we get an extra box down here and we have the odds ratios and I think this is the relative risk, these other two. Uh, if you want this written out with more words, it actually might be worthwhile to take your counts from your cross tabulations and stick it into Open Epi and get Open Epi to do it for you and then it will give you all the output with a lot more words in it. But you can see that where we've done the risk of non-white to white, that the, oh, sorry, the odds ratio, um, that you've got a much greater chance of having a low birth weight baby if you're non-white. Now if you needed this to come out in a different order, I think this is easier to understand. I think it's better to have your odds ratios being greater than one than being less than one. Um, but if you needed to have this come out in a different order, then you could uh, recode the white and the non-white to be in a different order, or you could recode the not low birth weight and the low birth weight to be in a different order as well. So I've opened up open epi because this is probably an easier way to manipulate the numbers once you've got the counts for each cell. Now if you want to code this as exposure and disease, um, I'm in the 2x2 two two table by the way in counts over here on the left hand side. In this case we might consider exposure to be um, exposure to being a minority group, I hope that's not offensive to anyone. Um, and then the disease, it's not actually a disease, it would be the low birth weight, this is the, the outcome which we're worried about. So in this case you might want to say, um, put in the non-white here, and I wonder if we can actually change this, yep. So let's change that to non-white, and then we'll put this in as being white. It's not a disease per se, it's just low birth weight and not low birth weight. So you can see I've got everything in a slightly different order than we had in SPSS. If you want to change it around in SPSS, as I said in a different video, you'd have to go through and recode the values. So instead of low birth weight being uh, I don't, I can't remember, is it 0 and then 1, you'd have to make this one 1 and then that one 2 and then it would switch them around so that the lowest was first. It's probably easiest once you've got your counts just to take it over into here. So in the non-white low birth weight, that's the 31. Then non-white not low birth weight, we've got 332. For the white and low birth weight, we've got 32. I'm putting in the observed numbers, not the expected ones. Open Epi will calculate its own expected values. Hopefully they'll be exactly the same, of course, but we don't need to tell it to them, tell it to it. Uh, and then white and not low birth weight, 826. Results. And this output is probably just a little bit nicer because you get a few more words in it. So we have the, um, the chi-square test with the really low p-values, you don't need all those decimal places. And then we have our risk in exposed and risk in unexposed, overall risk, risk ratio, risk difference, and then we have our odds ratio down the bottom. And so all these numbers are the same as what you would have seen in SPSS, but you just get a little bit more explanation about them. 
So the risk for the low birth, being low birth weight in the white population was only 3.73%, whereas the risk in the minority groups, I'm assuming they were minority groups from the numbers, from the non-white groups was 8.54%, which is uh, more than double, so much higher risk. The overall risk over all of them was about 5%, um, which we calculated in one of the other videos. Then we've got our risk ratio, which is going to be fairly similar to the odds ratio, um, one risk divided by the other, and then our risk difference. And then we've got our odds ratios here.